it's morning or at least it's morning here uh, today I am starting the build on the TB-70, the new Align helicopter. Um, <clears throat> pretty excited about this. This is a lot of new stuff here for Align. And uh, I'm a big Align fan, so when I seen this I had to pre-order it. Um, this one's coming from the Align T-Rex shop. Uh, they're offering this kit three ways. A super combo. Standard combo, really the only difference between these is this has got a 200 amp hobby wing uh, speed control and this one's got a 130 amp hobby wing slash align and a micro beast. I just got the standard kit. Um, I've got some Savox servos, I've got uh, a brain, uh, I've got I've got a 200 amp, I got, excuse me, I got a 200 amp hobby wing but I don't know if I'll use it on this one um, it comes with a motor an 850 MX so I'm good there but uh, I think what I'm going to do on this build is uh, is I'm going to I don't usually I mean I follow the manual but I think on this one I'm going to actually go through they always want you to do the head first so I think I'm going to do that on this one and uh, you know just go through this manual exactly how they want you to do it there's some chatter on the forums about this thing being pretty similar to some of the goblin designs and uh, so I just happen to have a goblin I have the Maverick kit that I haven't started yet and I thought I would do some comparison stuff you know if I see something that reminds me of uh, SAB, uh, maybe we could compare it to the stuff in that box. So what I'm going to do is uh, get the road ahead out and then I'll come back and uh, take a look at it. I'll tear it down, we'll look at it after it's torn down and then I'll put it back together and take a look at that again. So I will be back. Okay, so here is the rotor head. Um, pretty cool. Black anodized aluminum. Um, I like this. This is new. I've seen this before. They're trying to save weight, I guess, anywhere they could. So they got a little opening there. Uh, other than that, it's real similar to the other heads, it's just black. Some nice machining here, I guess, relieve some more weight. Um, I do have, since I don't fly any 3D stuff, I'm going to use the uh, F3C arms on it. There you go. Because I'm more of a scale guy than anything else, so... I know this helicopter really was designed for hard, hardcore 3D. And now this is cool. They actually got the links put together. I wonder how how close they are to where they should be, but that's really cool. I like that. Screwing those things together always kind of sucks. So what I'm going to do, tear this down completely, and then I'll uh, come back and we'll take a look at what it looks like. All right, so uh, got it torn down, and uh, nothing really overly exciting to see here. But I did, I don't know. It looks to me. Let me see if I can zoom this a little bit. It looks to me like these thrust bearings are a little bit bigger than what I'm used to seeing. I could be wrong. I took out. And this is like a regular Align grip. And, uh, yeah, they definitely shaved some weight off that, as you can see. That's definitely smaller. But, and then the bearing fits in there. It just, I don't know, it looks bigger to me. I, I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, zoom out here. Um, the dampers are 
pretty stiff. Like I said, this is definitely a 3D machine. Some pretty stiff dampers, I gotta say that. Uh, they were a little bit tough to get out of there. But uh, washout arms, nothing exciting. Same, I think. I think these. I gotta, let's make sure these are gonna work. I don't even know if these three uh, F3C arms are the same. But these are the ones from the 760. And they sure look the same. Let's open these up, take a look real quick. People are probably saying, what the hell are you putting F3C arms on there for? But they say I just enjoy, I don't do any tricks, anything at all. I just fly around, so yeah, that looks like that's going to be fine. Um, wow, that's a big difference. <laughs> Let's see, are they the same as the 760 arms? It's definitely the same arms as the 760. So, I say I'm going to put these on there and uh, and we'll see. It might be. There we go, like that. But so um, yeah. Other than other than uh, then the grips being smaller, and then they, I got a head block here. Yeah, this is the regular old. Well, this is a DFC, but yeah, this. I would say that. This block with the washout arms is feels like it's lighter than this this whole head block. So I'm definitely trying to save some weight. So what I'm going to do here is uh, get this all put together, greased up, Loctite everything, and then I'll come back and uh, show you what it looks like all built. And uh, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so got the head built. Uh, everything's Loctited, lubed my thrust bearings. Uh, dampers are lubed up with, with grease, real good. I'm nice and smooth, ready to go on. Um, really, this this only took like maybe 10 minutes or so to, you know, basically to tear it down. You know, clean all the oil off the threads of the bolts and and uh, reassemble it. It's, it's really pretty straightforward. Nothing really, you know, crazy, exotic about this. Pretty much the same as any other helicopter I've ever built. It does have the uh, zero pitch marks. If that will focus. Uh, there you go. Does have the zero pitch mark, so that's cool. And yeah, other than that, it's really, really the same old head, uh, inner thrust, uh, inner radio bearing, outer radio bearing, and the thrust bearing. And that's it. Uh, feathering shaft is uh, 12, 10 millimeter. And so, so that's built, ready to go on. Next thing. Um, what I'll do is get out, let's see, um, I haven't done the swash plate, that's really just taking out the, taking the balls out and lock tightening them in. I usually put the main shaft in after I get the, the, uh, main shaft bearings in, so, so next will be, um, 7B03 that has all the and then you got the two these are the two upper side frames all right so I will get this together Let's take a look at this 
anti-rotation bracket, a motor plate, uh, these are servo mounts, this is a servo mount as well, part of the anti-rotation bracket. Main shaft bearing blocks. That's a servo mount. Oh, that must be for the tail. Here's another one. Let's see what's going on. So these are the, the two pitch. Oh yeah, one for the elevator and one for the rudder. Uh, this is one of these is for the motor, I think. Oh no, that might be the, the bottom of the main shaft. And then this is the top plate, which does definitely look similar to the SAB stuff. <laughs> similar, but not really. Yeah, that's, that must be for the, uh, this is the mode of pinion support. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll get this... Uh, you know, to this point, and then I'll come back and talk about anything there that's different or see what it looks like when it's assembled this way. <coughs> and we'll go from there. I will be back. Okay, so cutting in here real quick. Um, yeah. So, the normal aligned thing okay you've got black lines like this one for instance you can't tell where this goes I mean they just put a black line into a black frame which drives me crazy but I'm used to it so I got it figured out though um, this is pretty much this page done. This piece of carbon fiber was mounted on here but it's going to have to come back off because this is for the tail servo and it has to go right there so to take that piece off so I can get that and then it's pretty intricate uh, tail belt uh, tensioning system quite a bit of tension on there it's pretty cool and then you got this battery latch tray that will go here it just sandwiches between the two frames and then this top plate which you can see uh, like this I guess yeah here we go is gonna go right there this is loose so that's got to be Loctited, and then, you know, you don't see it, if you switch and turn this page, um, this is tail boom set, that's this piece, but that was already together, and they show it in there, so, you know, I mean, they're showing it there, then they show you over here. And then this is the tail uh, tensioning system. And I just had to lock tight these two. This piece is already pretty tight. And so next, and this little pulley system is pretty cool. We've got the main gear, the main gear. Let's see, the motor, motor pulley driving this this gear driving that for the main shaft and then I'll just open this and look yeah so you've got this the motor pulley All right so the motor pulley drives this then this helical gear will drive that for the main to drive the main mast and then the belt pulley here. Pretty intricate uh, layout there. Similar to SAB but I don't see big time resemblance honestly. So 
So next I will get, I mean I've already done this, this is already there, all this is assembled, I just got to Loctite this piece, and then on this page you pretty much put it together, oh yeah I got this too, this piece will go up front, I guess they put, you want you to mount your ESC there there. And what do we got here? Oh, some canopy thing or something. So, different than any other line, but the instructions are just as bad as they always are, so <clears throat> some resemblance. But I will uh, get this all together and come back when I have all this assembled and take another look. So here's where I'm at. Uh, this is uh, actually a really cool design once you start getting into it. Um, you have to have the belts in there, because obviously because they go around the stuff. It was one of those things where you take it apart, put it together three times. The belt tensioner, I'm not really sure how this see if I can how this is really gonna I'm not sure how much if you can see what I'm talking about I guess we'll have to just wait and see until I when I get it assembled you know what it looks like it doesn't look like it's be pushing on much well actually I think that's just to keep the slop right I mean the tension is back here in this this is really cool you turn these screws and they hit a metal block that's on either side here. When you turn these screws, it will pull the tailbone back and adjust so you don't have to pull on it and try to tighten stuff. You just turn these two screws, turn these two screws until the belt is as tight as you want it, and then it can't move. The, the boom, I'll show you that eventually, but boom has a piece of plastic on it so that it can't slide into this so uh, servo mounts are on um, it's a battery lock here and everything is loose here I haven't tightened any of this stuff this is even loose still but uh, it's coming together I just figured I'd show the this is the tail is the tail servo hold on let me see if it's not focusing very well is it oh, at all anyway this mounts down here like that your anti-rotation bracket bolts Where does that bolt? Down here? Oh, over here. It's in the front, huh? Okay, that's cool. Motor plate. We'll go there. Uh, this piece of carbon fiber here goes in the back, and this is where the fly baller's controller will sit. So it's coming along. Um, I'm going to, I guess next will be... Next will be, so I pretty much did this. Alright, I did. This is just, uh, all this stuff is pre assembled for you. Next page is this is where I pretty much stop now. I guess really, now I'll get, get all this uh, square. Loctite everything on it and then get the servos put in. Uh, I got the, res yeah, this up here uh, where my ESC, I guess, is where they put the ESC. That's the receiver mount. 
and so far this is uh, it's probably one of the simplest builds I've builds I've seen. There's really nothing to this kit whatsoever. It's so simple. So they definitely did a, a real good job with uh, simplifying it, making it easy to build. Uh, like I say the instructions a little vague, but aren't they always? You know, because you know you they don't tell you that this has to be there. You know? So, but having built a bunch of these you won't have a problem, you know, like me. I've done so many aligns. You already know, you, just, you get it. might have to take something back apart to get it the way it's supposed to be, so. I'm gonna stop the camera here and uh, continue on. And um, I'll come back and show you where I'm at in a few.